Okay, I'm gonna have Cowboy explain to you what we're about to do oh, here. No, we're not. We're gonna try something we haven't tried yet, but I think maybe it's gonna work. Cowboy, what's the plan? We're gonna play it by ear. You get there. All right, Man. so we have a Brammer heifer that has come all the way from Orange Hammock in Florida. The kids have roped it here at the house. It's turned out over here on the hill right now. Well, it was until a minute ago when the Cowboy <laughs> trapped it up in the hay pen. But uh, it's not very sound. after trying to lead some of those wild bulls out yesterday, we think we've got an ingenious plan. We're going to catch up this Brammer heifer. We, this we. We. <laughs> we. There's no we here. We're not French. We is. I'm going to drive we. Cowboy over there and help him get the Brammer in his horse pen. He's going to tame her down, break her to lead real good. And then we can have one of the kids lead her along when we go up in there after those wild cattle. And just like it's planned when we catch those wild bulls we're gonna snub them up for a minute and get them over there next to this tame broke to lead by her heifer <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> and she she's gonna help us just lead them right down out of the yeah. boonies right to the we'll truck the trailer like maybe up. maybe she'll even jump on the trailer and they'll jump in behind her so back. let's go get her brammer caught so cowboy can get busy taming her down and getting her broke we'll show you how it goes i think it's gonna work <laughs> I'm glad somebody does. All right, the cowboy's shift, got his should we shift this little trap here? set here. Wait, He's wait, really wait. thinking this through. He's worried this little roping calf's going to yeah. be hard to get in the trailer, so he's yeah. planning every move. Well, I don't think it's going to be so hard. We got this what? He's but crossing his eyes and dotting more. his T's. He's not going to take any chances. I'm the cameraman. You don't tell me where to be. <laughs> what are you doing? I was trying to get her in. I didn't know you were going to bring her through your little hut over there. Good grief. I'll leave you one little thing to do. Where's the cow? It's going the other way. Go the other way. This is what it's like. This is what I've got to work with. It's a little interesting. Whoa, Brammer. That's her. That's going to be our lead cow. Probably should use one of these rope them. <laughs> Oh, Look at that. She's tame, tame already. Tame already? Oh, oh yeah. She's ready to go. Okay, come out there. Take her up to the back of the trailer, see if she gets on her. Huh? Do it. Now, because she won't jump when he jumps. <laughs> no, get no higher than that right there, ain't 
I just turn off your mother. Take that, take that extra rope off her neck and bring her out. like that all right that's enough training enough practice let's head to the ranch see if we can catch something and try and lead it So sorry to tell you, but you do not get to see us catch this big steer. It's hard for me to hold my iPhone video and rope at the same time. And to tell you the truth, I didn't rope him. I was chasing him through the trees, through my rope, and missed. But I was getting close to him, so I kicked up, grabbed him by the tail, took a dally around the saddle horn, jerked him around sideways and held on to him for a second. Ram came along behind me and roped him around the horn. So. That's how we got this big guy caught. That's We've good. got him caught, tied up, and we're going to see if we can find a way to lead him out. We're a few miles from the truck, and it's rough and nasty through here, so we'll see if this works. This is my brother, Brady. He uh, failed to become an Eagle Scout, but he's putting some Cub Scout knots on this steer's horns here, so hopefully it holds. Time to introduce the wild steer to our Brammer heifer. See if he wants to follow her out of here. Hopefully this goes well. Brady says he's seen some real cowboys do this on Instagram before, and it always looks like it's really easy, so should be no problem. It's been about half the day, but we have got the big steer led up out of here. We're just about to get him on the trailer. If there's not some kind of last minute disaster, we'll have him caught. And the little brammer cow did pretty good, did her job, helped lead him out of here. So, cowboy, your plan's working. Now all we need is for you, one of my 99 faithful Riding subscribers, to ride with us and you can carry this camera good. phone. Then you won't miss all the action because we just led this thing for miles and nobody videoed any of it. Riley and Pickle did really well leading the brammer heifer. And by the time we got to the truck, the steer was just about starting to follow her. Brady's getting the truck backed into the bank on the side of the hill there. We're going to try and get everything set up so that we don't have any problems loading him. We've brought him this far. It would really stink if something messes up and we lose him right now. All right, now's not the time to get in a rush and mess up, so this is going to take a minute. <coughs> While we're... Uh, working on talking this steer into getting on the trailer i'll tell you a little horse story the bay mare i'm riding right here her name's annie i bought her and leroy as colts when i was in eighth grade i hate to tell you how old i am but eighth grade was a long time ago but uh we've been chasing after these wild cattle a little bit for a few days and a bunch of my younger horses are all sore and gave out so i'm riding old annie 25, 26 years old, and she helped get this steer all the way out of the boonies. Did a good job today. Now we just negotiate and hope a little bit and see if we can get these guys to go on here. Brammer Heifer's talking the steer into it. Come on, it's not so bad. We're only going to make hamburger out of you. Let's get on here. It's Better than getting dragged around on the end of a rope. Let's do this. Up 
Watch here. We'll see what a little bit of peer pressure can do. Brady's going to talk Ram into risking his life <laughs> running in front of there. Brammer Heifer's on. Now what's the steer going to do? Climb on there, buddy. Make this easy. Oh, look. Yep. Looks like that went easier than it was supposed to. And in case you're being critical of my trailer, thinking I have an old crappy trailer with a tattered, torn tarp on the roof, actually, that's the escape route. Notice how Ram gets out the top of there without getting killed. Oh no, what's happening now? Yeah, she changed her mind. Please don't come out of there. Come on, come on, just lead him up in there. Ow. You don't want to come off of there. Stay on the trailer. Lead him forward a little bit so we can get these gates closed. We're so close. Don't mess up now. Oh, you stinker. And she runs off up over the hill. Riley's horse is out of gas. He can't get close enough to get her caught. Brady has to abandon us at the trailer. Go help Riley re-rope the brammer. Meanwhile, while they're gone, and you don't get to see this because the cameraman shut the camera off, the steer just walked onto the trailer. All the way up in the front, I stepped off and closed the gates. There they are, in the trailer. Sun's just gone down. It's a long ways to the house. It took a big part of the day, but there he is. Big boy Scott. One thing about the ride home is pretty peaceful. All the boys fell asleep, zonked out. I get to drive through the desert half the night, get home at midnight. But it was a good day.